Firaza and welcome to Firaza Urology. Any physician who has a valid license with patients residing in the Philippines can practice telemedicine. Telemedicine requires proficiency in digital communication skills, clinical acumen, knowledge of the technology and equipment to be used, while adhering to ethical practice. In telemedicine, a communication device such as landline phone, cell phone, with or without camera, and or computer will be required. If using video or chat software, a stable internet connection is vital. A private well-lit location is preferred, especially for video consult. The physician must first prepare the equipment, location, records, and secure consent. The physician must safeguard both himself and the patient during a teleconsultation. Identity of both parties should be verified. A physician must protect confidentiality and ensure quality of care. The healthcare provider should use recording tools to create a record of the patient encounter and maintain them for continuity of care. In case of technology fault or failure, such as poor internet connection, the physician should have a contingency plan in place that outlines an alternate method of communication with the patient. A prescriptions issued must follow the principles of prescription writing and comply with local guidelines on generic prescribing. Following the principles of prescription order writing helps to avoid dispensing errors. This include writing clearly and legibly, avoiding abbreviations and Latin terminologies, and including the therapeutic purpose in the subscription. Indicating what a particular medication is for helps the patient to understand their prescription better. Feedback must be individualized. It may be asked during consultation or through sent questionnaires. Some research indicates that feedback asked at a different time may be more productive as it allows the participant to consider the encounter without the influence of their current circumstances or environmental factors in a controllable and less stressful environment compared to face-to-face. -face. Complete documentation includes patient identifier, consent forms, history, physical exam, laboratory and ancillaries, assessment, plan, diagnostic, therapeutic, limitations of today's visit, and the timestamp of the teleconsultation. 
Thank you for watching my video. If you want to know more about telemedicine, please like and subscribe my channel. Leave some comments for clarifications. Also press the like button down below.